simple tutorial, I will show you how you can transcribe any YouTube video out there with the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model. I've seen this from Philip Schmidt and make sure you follow him on LinkedIn because from there you will also get some good content. And what really blows me away is that we just need to reference the YouTube URL and that's all we need to do. But let's start in the beginning. So I'm now here in the processor folder. So make sure you are in any folder you start and also make sure that you have UV installed. This is our Python Packager Manager. Very easy and fast to set up. So make sure you follow this installation guide and then we can proceed. So I've already installed it and now let's start a new project. Therefore we type in UV in it and then let's call this transcribe minus JT for YouTube. And then we see a whole folder was created for us here. And now let's navigate into this folder. CD, transcribe minus JT, great. And we also see that there's a initial Python file called hell.py. And what we now need to do is to install the Gemini package. Therefore we type UV add. Google minus, what's it Google? Google minus Gen AI. Okay, and also some peer dependencies were also installed and you can check if it was correctly installed. If you go here to your pyproject.toml file, look here in the dependency, should be done, Google minus Gen AI. Great. And now, here in the hello.py, let's rename this maybe to transcribe pi and we will get rid of the boilerplate code here and move in the whole script this script is so tiny and compact i can even paste it into the video description so just pick it from there <laughs> and now let's have a look on what it does first of all we create the client therefore we need the api key can we get some zoom here and the api key we get from the google AI Studio. So visit aistudio.google.com and now we click here on get API key, create API key. Make sure you have previously created here a project on the Google Cloud because now we need to select one. I pick the first one I got here, so agent devs. Then we click on create API key. And now we have our API key, so just copy it. And I will now simply paste it here over. This is just for demonstration. Please, if you use it correctly, make use of the .env variable file and paste it in there correctly and then load it into the script. Then we need to specify the YouTube video URL we need to transcribe. I've picked one of my previous videos. And then we have our prompt, very tiny and precise. Analyze the following YouTube video content, provide a concise summary. And now we making up the content, so the client content call. So we have the, our client, then we go further with models and then generate content. In here we specify the model. So as I've said earlier, we use here the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model. And then we make use of the contents. And the content here, the contents is a um, object. You can think of it like anything that you would like to send next to the prompt to the large language model in terms of files. So for example, audio file, image, and so on. We can do this in this nice way. And this content object it can contain one or more parts. So one part is for example, you can see it here, our prompt, and another part could be then an image file, another part could be an audio file. And <clears throat> what we need to do here is specify here first, of course, the, the prompt. And in another part, we use here the file data, types file data, and then specify here the file URI as our YouTube URL. That's all we need to do. So. We've installed everything and then we can just run the script with UV 
run transcree.py. I should have spelled it correctly. But anyway, let's fire it up. Wow, and now you can see here the result. So this was from my last video and I have to say this is a correct summary. And yeah, just wanted to show you this cool tip. See you in the next one.